I want to walk past these spikes. This is like, that's the most terrible trap design ever. It's like, oh, there's spikes, so we won't let them in. But if you walk around them and push the button, they'll turn off. Ah, that's just poor planning by these very silly monsters. Oh, hello, sir. Y you're humans. They're hiding the queen in the back. Please rescue her. Oh, well, there we go. We know we're in the right place, at least. Inside this building, there's a room dedicated to Magnus. Heard something about a treasure there. Well, that's interesting to take note of. What's in the spittoon? Ooh, a free power tab. That'll boost the strength of any of our party members, but only once. Then they're, uh, they're spread throughout the game. They're not exactly common, so uh, I'd say use them in when, you, when you really think you need them. Anyway, we've got these guys. I'll just walk right around them, because luckily for me, they have no death perception unless you're talking about the snake people. Then they've got crazy good death perception. Ah, stop with the kicking in the face. Why does everyone kick me in the face? Seriously, I've got a busted nose up in here. These, uh, these snakes remind me of Ekans, the Pokemon. But then again, that's probably just because they're purple. Purple and snakes, so what else am I really going to think about? Anyway, huzzah! Wow, one swig of the sword. Actually, I think Lucas smacked him with, a, with, a, with the air gun, so that probably was not one swig of the sword. But whatever, it was still cool looking. Swords are awesome. I infinitely prefer uh, medieval weaponry to uh, guns. And I'm saying uh a lot. That's bad. I need to work on that too. My commentary must, invo must evolve into no tongue ties and no stammering, stuttering, or uhs. Burp. I can't fake a burp, sorry. Hey, what's with the disguise? No need for them here. Oh, well, that's lucky. They think we're also monsters. It's almost my shift. I hate pretending to be human. That's so repulsive. And you know, you're no, you know, you're no beauty queen yourself, mister. What do you have to say? Burp. The ones we ate recently weren't so bad. And those two soldiers we caught look rather plump and juicy. Oh, that's disturbing on every level. What do you think, Tubbs of Fun? Yakar is so smart. His plan to capture the Chancellor and take his place worked perfectly. Now the Queen's captive and the castle's in an uproar. This is rich. Oh. I'll lick it on... Uh, lick in? No, don't lick the statue. Look in on Magnus' statue before my shift. Well, that would explain why the Chancellor in the castle wasn't being very responsive to us when we were talking to him. He's actually an evil demon in disguise. It's all part of an evil ploy. That's honestly kind of awesome. RPGs. They are amazing. Oh. Huh. Uh, hello. Are, are you here to save Queen, Queen Lene? Oh, what a relief. How nice of you to come. I'm sure your car will be just as pleased. Why not rest in here until he's available? Uh, there was no need for you to come rescue me. The master your car is very kind. I've decided to stay here. Now why don't you make yourselves at home too? Yep, that's a trap. That is the biggest trap I have ever seen in all of Trapdom. Trippity trap trap traps up the wahoo! I think not good, sir. Anyway. Oh, dearest Magnus, your flashing eyes like stars, and flowing hair like waves atop the sea. No sad sunny day, nor any frightful, or any frightful, weird, bright place can bring us down. As long as you're near, there's nothing to fear. Magnus, oh Magnus, our hero Magnus. So that's the Magnus guy, huh? He doesn't look so tough. I wonder why the monsters are all so god-loving about him. He seems like a normal-looking dude, honestly, from the statue, at least. Don't know why the monsters are so following him. But eh, what do I know? Anyway, just moving on, and yeah, that was easy enough. Don't be in such a hurry. Enjoy yourselves first. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, it's a trap. Who would have guessed it? I am completely caught unawares by this turn of events. Okay, let's kill them now. Buzzing! <laughs> oh, your, your terrible disguises. I mean, the disguises, don't get me wrong. Those disguises were actually very well put together. You know, kudos to that. But, well, wouldn't you know it, you don't have their dialect down. You might want to come up with more convincing ways of going about, uh, you know, transacting. Otherwise, people aren't ever going to fall for your disguise. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, Luca will level... Oh, there we go. Uh, we need to... Tonic. Tonic Chrono. And Tonic Luca. Frog, you just go ahead and keep slashing your sword around like a crazy amphibian swordsman that you are. There we go. Now, neither of our teammates will die. That is a plus. Agon. Just got bitten by an evil snake person. I think Frog just got poisoned, but that is irrelevant. Because we have just won the fight. No, we have not. Luca needs to shoot him first. Pressurized air can hurt, but, uh, yeah, I definitely wish we had that dark gun. We have enough money for it now, but that's a bit out of the way, so I don't think we're gonna do that. 
Alright, well that was simple and easy. Completely optional too, but I felt like showing it off because I... It's an RPG, I mean... I love this game and I love everything about it, so I'm gonna show off as much as I possibly can. Stop! Intruders! Gak! Gak, 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 gak is back. Woo! I think not! You are meat or steel and... Ah! Stop with the hurricane kicks! I think that's what it's called. My Street Fighter knowledge isn't as uh, in-depth as most people's is. Most people's is. Is that correct grammar? Probably not. I don't know. Whatever. Point is, I don't know much about Street Fighter. Either way, that looks a lot like the move that Ryo uses, so that's all I need. That's all I need to state. So many snakes, so many goblins. This is just absurd. And good day, sir. I say good day, sir. There. No good snaky demons getting all up in my grill. They really need to step up their strategy of... Their, their, their current strategy of walk around randomly and occasionally, you know, street fighter kick us in the face doesn't seem to be working out too well. They might need to, they might need to bring out their A game a bit. Anyway, we got another revive. Oh, and uh, Frog learned Slurp Cut. And we learned the Dual Tech X-Strike. I haven't even shown off the Dual Techs yet. How foolish of me. I'll show it off right now. Dual Techs are when two characters combine their two special abilities to make one super awesome one. For our example, S Chrono Cyclone and Luca's, uh, and Luca's, uh, whatchamacallit. Crap, we don't have enough. Dang it. No, 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 no. Frog item. I need to show this off. Ether on Chrono. There we go. Now, Chrono. Use Fire World. There we go. We combined Chrono Cyclone with Luca's Fire Shot, and we get the Fiery Cyclone of Death. Every single conceivable combination of characters has their own completely unique dual techniques, and they are all equally completely amazing. I will be showing off as many of them as I possibly can. Might miss a couple. Hopefully that won't happen, though. I'm going to do my best to show every single conceivable thing there is to show, which may mean this game's going to go on for a very long time, but honestly, I think my channel could use that sort of thing. I've had far too many very, very short games. I need more longevity in my, in my content, you know? Anyway, we all just leveled up at once. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, if I remember correctly, yipper, yipper, yipper. There is a save point. Definitely gonna have to take advantage of that. Thank you. Now, I don't know. Do we have a tent? Do we have a tent? Um, no, we do not. That would be really helpful. A tent item, which uh, we can only use at save points. Uh, will heal and will give us all our health and MP back at the exact same time. That's always good. Oh, there it is. It's not a tent. It's a shelter. What game uses tents? I don't know. I'm sure there's an RPG that uses tents. Either way, let's use it. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Now we are at full power. Now let's save. And now we're good to go. All right. We're one step closer to finding the queen. And of course, a trick staircase. Even though Luca and Frog weren't standing on it, they fell down too. Very peculiar. Oh, hello, good sirs. You, you seem to be having a problem. Snore, snooze. No, stop it. I said that you can't. Huh? Whoa. He just ninja flipped. I'll say this, you know what you're doing. N wait, what? I didn't really seem to have much context for the situation at hand. You have failed us, fat guy. Oh, wait, his name is Hench. Ha! <laughs> because he's a henchman. That's funny to me. Anyway, problem solved. Anyway, we probably could have just avoided fighting that guy altogether, but I chose to fight him because I felt like it. Anyway, we've got bats. No good bats. What's this do? Oh, pushing this skull button will just make more bats show up, so let's just completely ignore them. And we have three fat guys and a bat. Okay. How about... Okay, and we just got chewed on. That's unfortunate. Luca. Luca's not known for her speed, nor is she known for her strength. But her techniques are oh so very worth it. Anyway, that should be good. Frog, you focus on the mad bat. Haha, <laughs> got them all in one blow. Granted, it was one very freakishly powerful blow, but it was still just one blow. Counts in my book. Yeah, quit chewing on her head evil bat thing. Batman would be ashamed to, you know, be related to you somehow. Anyway, experience, tech, money. Now levels up. Always a bummer. I love leveling up. It makes me stronger. Anyway, a tonic and a heal. What's this? No entry. Okay, apparently someone felt the need to put that up on a complete... Okay, it's, it's, cl it's clear as day that there's supposed to be a door, a secret door here, but nobody would know that if you didn't put up a blank piece of paper on the wall that just says no entry. Therefore, it wouldn't be blank. So, English! Still not very good at it. Either way, that button brought down the spikes in the other room, which I didn't even bother showing off, because I'm not very observant. 
Anyway, now we can go in here. And spikes and all sorts of spinning gargoyles and fat people. Wow. It seems like all of these henchmen are trained in the art of spin jumps. Very impressive. I gotta give them kudos. They, they treat their gymnastics training very seriously. I can appreciate that. Any henchman, any enemy that, you know, they take their work seriously. That's very admirable. You so very rarely see henchmen take their jobs truly seriously. Whoa! That's a hell of a haymaker. Dang! Smack him right up against the wall. Okay, well, you've clearly made your point. Now die. Uh, it's a shame we have to be on the opposite sides of the law. Always with the hurricane kicks. No, thank you, sir. Okay, and... Bada boom! Still not dead. Okay, now die. Whew, I'm definitely going to be doing some off-screen training. <laughs> because as is, I'm not really blowing through the enemies like I really should be. I've pretty much just been going, you know, what you've seen is what's all, is all that's happened. I've done nothing off-screen. It's all just pure tra- it's all pure skill. I have no skill. I'm very bad at games. But you watch me anyway, because you're all very wonderful people. Anyway... Grab this thing, we got an iron sword, which I don't... That goes to frog, maybe? It does! Booyah! <laughs> there we go, now frog's immense strength is even stronger. Now, because it worked so well the first time... And there you go, another secret door. Yeah, I really would have thought that they'd probably have designed another way of going about that, but they didn't. They didn't. They just decided, yeah, you know, the organ, the organ trick worked so well the first time, no one's ever going to figure that out. Let's just do it again. Oh, silly, silly enemies. Not very bright. Not very bright. Anyway, we've got more henches. Just ignore them. More serpentines. Okay, you know what? No, we're not going to ignore them. We will fight. We will fight for our right to partay. Okay, loading up, loading up, loading up. Fire World! Want to get rid of those guys before they use their slow, evil magics on us. That's so awesome. Lucas shoots fire up into the sky, which gets absorbed by Chrono's sword, which he then uses to make a cyclone out of it. If this game was made in full 3D, I guarantee that would have been beautiful to watch. Even even nowadays, it's still pretty awesome. Ah! Dang it! How did I not smack into Luca? He's punched- He punched me so hard, I phased through solid matter. That's impressive. Okay, get out of our hair, you fool. And there we go. Victory pose. I really like Frog's flex. Because it makes no sense in the context of his character. It's very silly. Anyway, we've got another save point. I'm going to heal up and save. Back in a second. Yeah, I didn't exactly have enough items to completely heal up my group. But we should be fine for the adventures that are ahead. Saved. I saved, just in case. Prepare yourself, Queen Linnae. Ah, the demon. We've come to save you. You. How did you get in here? Frog! Majesty, stand back and allow us the honor. Be careful. Oh, come on. He's just one old man. How hard could he possibly be? <laughs> it's useless to fight. No one will leave here alive. You know, by saying that, you imply you're going to kill yourself. Stupid frog. It's time you jumped off this mortal coil. Yeah, bring it on. True form, change! Oh, yeah, bring in your true form. What could it be? Okay, whoa, it's a quesadilla tick. That's a little disturbing. Yeah, it looks like a quesadilla crossed with a tick. Oh, and it stands on two legs. Reverts to Yakar! Or Yakra! Whatever! Point is, evil demon! Okay, whoa! And it just jumped on, uh, Luca there. And the Chrono Frog Dual Tech X Slash! Or X Cross, either way. Jojo! Unfortunately for us, every time we deal damage to Yakar. Yakra, it's not your car, it's Yakra. I'm no good at the things with the speakies. Ugh. Either way, every time we hit him, he's gonna bounce around like a lunatic and deal us for double, not double damage, it's just counter damage. He counterattacks all of our attacks. So you're gonna wanna deal as much damage as he possibly can in one giant bursts. That way, uh, he counterattacks less and less. But don't worry, you're armed with a fair amount of things to get you through. You should be fine. You should be fine. But I make absolutely no promises. Let's try the flame whirl. Well, Frog just goes about his normal business. Man, that's cool! Oh, I can't wait till we get more of the dual text. It's gonna be on it's just gonna keep getting more and more awesome, I tells you. Anyway, bouncing all about. Uh, none of us are dead yet! Critical hit! Where do you go, Frog? 
Oh, no, nope, that's not good enough. Crud, dang. Crud. <laughs> and Chrono's down. That's okay, it's okay. Needle spin, your car's needle attack. Oh, gross. It's like zits popped. Oh, okay, that's not good. Okay, item. I have one. Hang on. Ah, da, 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 this. Revive Chrono. We summon an angel to bring back our friend. Okay. Do I have any healing items? Okay, well, no. Frog's dead, so we should probably revive them. I have no healing items whatsoever. I came very, very ill prepared for this particular adventure. Bob, what you gonna do? X strike. Ah! You just deck Luca upside the face with an iron cannonball, you jerk. Okay, you should be wearing down by now. Too close. Can't counterattack. Booyaka. Uh, item, item, item. No, I don't think I have anything suited for this sort of thing. So, I'll just wait for this and do another X strike. If that doesn't finish you off, I don't know what will. Come on. Too close. Can I... He's not going down. Die already. Wow, really? Dro. Ah. Now what's happening? Okay, created a minor tremor. Problematic. Either way. X strike. Zang! Come on! Go down! There we go! There's the end of Yakra! And of course I say his name right for the first time ever, right after we never have to say it again. Go me! 50 experience points. I don't know if Luca got any of that. She's currently dead at the moment. I'm willing to bet she probably didn't. Ah, well. I'll just make this, I'll make up for that in the training. You came to rescue me! Thank you, frog. The king awaits. Let us return to the castle. I thank thee, Chrono and Luca. I don't recall ever telling you our names, but sure. Yes, thank you so much. Please join us. Man, Frog is one classy gent, isn't he? Anyway, before we go off to the castle, best open up these things. We got a mid ether. That's always good. And what's in here? Hey oh, it's a handicap. Handicap, man. No! <laughs> Phew, thank you. That monster stuffed me in there. It's the true Chancellor! Oh, your highness, as you can see, I am undamaged. I can't... Yeah, she really showed some concern for you. She didn't even mention that you were trapped, too. And again, I completely forgot that he was trapped, too. So whatever! Let's return to the castle. Yeah, let's do that. We'll protect you from the what's left of the monsters. Nah, we can just teleport here. That works, too. <laughs> you had me worried, Lene. That's no good, Yakra. Dang it! It's Yakra! Yakra! His name is Yakra. Why can't I ever say that right? Impersonating me and kidnapping the queen. We must create a criminal justice system in the kingdom to do away with such fiends. I agree. There's no way on earth that could ever possibly backfire for me. I say go for it. I failed to protect Queen Lene. I have disgraced thee. Frog! Well, that seemed a bit intense. Poor guy. I mean, you, know, you may not have protected her from getting kidnapped initially, but you know, you still got her back. That's what counts. Everything's fine. Anyway, uh, we're definitely going to run up here and see if fixing history has brought. Marley's back, and she's wearing a different outfit from when she disappeared. Huh? What happened? Princess Nadia. Chrono. It was awful. I, I can't recall it at all. I, I was somewhere cold, dark, and lonely. Is that what it's like to... to die? That's depressing. Welcome back, Princess Nadia. You risked your life to help me, too. Princess Nadia? Uh-oh. I guess you guys figured it out, huh? Sorry, Chrono. I didn't mean to deceive you. I am Princess Nadia. My father's King Gardia the... 33rd? I, I don't know no Roman numerals. I'm sorry. I really enjoyed being with you at the fair. But if you had known my identity... Chrono, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair, right? Are you kidding? I don't care who you are. You're a nice person. All you had to do was ask. Like I'm going to turn you down for who you are. I'm not that kind of scuzzbag. Oh, Chrono. That's why I like you. The real queen's safe, right? So let's go home, Chrono. Yeah, I think that sounds good to me. Of course, it doesn't really ever elaborate on how we are supposed to get back home. 
We're just supposed to go back to the exact point where we first arrived here, back in the forest. I mean, I know that, but they never actually state that. I guess they just assume you can figure that out here on your own. Either way, we've completed this epic quest. Probably talk to the king before we go. Thank goodness you're safe. You may resemble the name, but you sure don't act like her. Anyway, you're real. Yeah, you've really helped me. Let me know how I can repay you. Eh, it's fine. Think now, the Nobbit. You're the real Queen Lene, huh? You really could be my twin. Well, you two better get along. Or I'll be in big trouble. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, never mind. I guess it's time to go. Ha <laughs> ha! Subtle but hilarious. Good going, Marley. You're that's why you're my favorite. Oh hey, Frog's still here. Hey, you doing okay? Twas a fault of mine which endangered the queen. I shall depart for good. Eek! Indeed, your resemblance to the queen is uncanny. Chrono, you have potential to be a good swordsman. Thanks, Frog. Froggy, you weren't such a bad guy either. I wonder if we'll ever see that wonderful frogged man again. Eh, who knows? All I know is it's time to head home. Let's go, girls!